All right, so uh, moving on to some of these other techniques. Um, we just learned how to how to thump and uh, how to do those uh, hammer-on thumps. Okay, so uh, one thing I want you to know um, is that when you're thumping and playing the guitar and using some of these finger techniques that I'm about to show you, is you don't always have to be playing a note. You can just so much just rhythms. Okay, so you don't always have to be playing notes. Keep that in mind. You can play just the strings for uh, for just rhythmic purposes. Um, all right, so let's move on. And uh, one thing I do want you to know is I'm playing with a, a single coil pickup, my uh, my uh, neck pickup. Okay, so my position is all the way up to the top, the fifth uh, fifth position on this guitar, and I'm using just this one pickup. Okay, so some of the other pickups sounds pretty cool, but I mean, I wouldn't use um, a humbucker on the uh, bridge. Sounds too, sounds too dirty. Sounds too, uh, you know, harsh for this. You want to have like a funk sound, so um, I would use a more mellowed out um, pickup. All right, so let's learn um, uh, the next, the next bit of the techniques. Let's learn um, rolling your first and in, in your th uh, first finger in your thumb to create um, a pretty cool sound here. So uh, this right here. So that was used in this. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically just coming up with kind of like a triplet pattern with my first finger and my thumb and doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay. So first of all, I'm, I'm popping um, this note here on the fourth string, fifth fret. So basically, this is the seventh um, of the A. Okay. If I was playing a A7 chord. The top finger being my root, the third finger here on the third string, sixth fret being my third, and the uh, my second finger here on the fourth string, uh, fifth fret being my seven. Okay, my jazz seven, or my dominant seven. Okay, which is a whole step down from the eighth. So my eight being the octave, a whole step down is the seventh. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm starting on that seven. And I'm popping it. And I'm pulling off after I pop it. So pop it. Pop it, pull off, and then I'm using my thumb to play the open A above it. So pop, pull off, and my thumb is on this A right here. The open A, and I just and I thump it or pop it or do whatever I want to with it. Just Play it with your thumb. All right, and we can do this again in um, in this key because I'm playing in the key of A, so I can actually utilize this open A string, okay? Because A is a note in the key of A. All right, I can also utilize this uh, D string here because D is a note in the key of A as well. Okay, so I can do this: pop, pull off, um, thumb, pop, pull off with my first finger, this hand, thumb. Do the same thing, come back up. And all I'm doing is just um, following a scale down. So I'm playing the fifth, the fourth, the second, the open. And I can do this as well if I move this down to the uh, D string. So I'm now I'm on the fourth and third string. Okay, again, playing it. Pulling off, and then playing the open D with my thumb. Okay, so you can put these together and get a little bit quicker with it. It sounds pretty cool. Okay, so as many pull offs and hammer ons as you want to with these notes. Okay, popping it, getting that good funk sound out of that jazz sound. Okay, and you always have to be playing loud, or and you don't always have to be playing notes. Okay, when you do this, you can use that technique. Mute it out a little bit, or not even play notes if you don't want to. Um, Definitely mute it out though. It has a cool sound when you play it a little bit, a little bit softer. All 
right? And then put it put it together with the uh, hammer rolls. So you just thump, hammer ons with the uh, the thumping. Thump, pop. Okay, practice that, we'll move on to the next one.